Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with a little tip for you. I was recently um, doing some uploading with my blogger account um, on my budget gardening blogger. And if you were interested in seeing that, um, it's mybudgetgardening.blogspot.com. And I wanted to show you how um, I'm update, I was uploading all these pictures here and I couldn't figure out how to get pictures side by side in blogger if any of you ever use blogger which is probably why you're watching this video you would notice that it's kinda difficult to put pictures side by side and to make it fit everything perfectly so I wanted to show you how I do this really easily um, I have a site here called cross browser rich text editor you can see right here what the uh, site name is okay and uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how we do this. So the first step is to add your pictures. So I'm going to put here, this is a test of the emergency broadcasting system. Oop, broadcasting system. And then right here, we're going to add some pictures. Let's go ahead and just add these three. Now, when you add them, as you can see, uh, Blogger automatically puts them one on top of the other. And there's basically no way to put them side by side. Even if I do it to the left here or make it small or put it to the left, all it does is it moves my text to the right or it moves my text around, which is okay, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm wanting to be able to put my information underneath this and I put it three by three. So let me show you how to do this. Basically, you have to create a table, and a table will force whatever's in the cells to be next to each other. The best way to write a table, since a table is really complicated in creating, is to use this cross-browser rich text editor to create your, um, your table. Basically, you come to this editor, you click table here, and it writes all the code for you. All you do is tell it how many rows and columns. I'm going to do just one row. That's across, just one row, and then three columns because I have three pictures. Now, this is what's important. Your table width needs to be 100% because, as you know, Blogger um, resizes when it comes to smaller screens. So you want to make sure that it's 100% so that it will also stretch with the screen. Now, your border thickness should be zero, but you could put it at whatever thickness you want. I'm going to put it at one just so that we can see the actual um, table. But when I do another one, I'll show you what it's like when it's uh, zero. The cell padding is going to be anything you want, but I usually put mine at five. And the cell spacing. So the cell padding is within the square how much space is with uh, between the uh, picture and the edge of the square or of the cell. The cell spacing is how far the cells are from each other. We're going to say insert table and here's what our table looks like. You're going to click here on view source and this is what you're actually going to um, copy. Now make some uh, take some notice of a couple of things here. You want to notice that the cell padding information is right here. The cell border information is right here. And um, if with all this is the code for the space which is inside here. So, so now that we have our table, we're going to basically just copy and paste this. Copy it. And I'm just using um, Apple Copy, Apple C, or you can go ahead and edit here and go to Copy. Okay. And then we're going to go to our blogger. Now we're going to go here to the HTML. And if you can't find... Now, let's say you have a lot of information here, a lot of stuff that you've already typed. If you can't find what you're looking for, just press Apple F to get your uh, search bar and look up. For example, I'm going to look up system because that's the last thing I know I typed. And then I know that I'm at the right spot. Okay. And then uh, we're going to go here. We're going to press enter and we're going to insert our table. And if we go back over here, you can see that the table is right here. It's at 100%. So um, we wanted to take this. For some reason, it 
kind of messes up my coding a little bit, but don't worry, just put 100% and then it will change this to 100%. So now all we have to do, we have the places where the the pictures are going to, the images are going to go, and which is going to be in between here TD and this TD. This is the second cell and this is the third cell. What you're going to take is this part here, which is, it starts at the image code ends right here that's all you need and then you're gonna copy that and you're gonna paste it right here okay that's your first one and then you take your second one which is right here copy that and you're gonna paste it here and then you're gonna take this one copy it paste it here okay and then you should have something that kind of looks like this now as you can see it kind of pushes everything over and if I were to uh, preview this as you can see it pushes everything over so to fix that I'll show you exactly what we're going to do we're gonna go back to the code and everywhere you see the image this with oh well let's go back and just delete this so we don't need we don't need this picture we don't need this picture we don't need this picture any longer okay so we're going to delete all this we don't need any of this going to go all the way up to the table and here we are okay so everywhere you have the height and the width we're going to delete the height and change this width to 100% so again, delete the height, change the width to 100%. Once again, delete the height, change the width to 100%. Now what that does is it fits everything within my little um, page right here. Then I can continue typing. So let me just go back over here and put a little break. And then we're going to continue typing. This is only a test. If this were an actual emergency, we, you would have be in a lot of trouble. Okay. Now you're going to add another one with about two. So once again, we're going to add two pictures this picture here and this picture here okay here are two pictures we're gonna go ahead and get a table so to get a table we're gonna go to we're gonna delete all this we're gonna add a table with one row and two columns this time now we're gonna say zero pictures for the border thickness we're gonna keep this at five and insert table but since there's no border thickness we can't see it here but trust me if we click on view source here it is so we click select all copy paste it here now we gotta find this word trouble to make sure that we go right after it here's the word trouble but again if we couldn't find it that way we would look up the word trouble and there it is I'm going to put it here. There's our table border. Here are all our table spaces and things like that. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the first picture here. We're going to copy it. Actually, we're going to just cut it. So we're going to do control X cut that one and put it here we're gonna that way we can keep track of everything and then we're gonna take this other picture here we're gonna cut that put it here 
and then we're going to delete all the other information that we don't need and then the final step is to take the width we're going to take the height away and add this width of 100% Take the height away, 100%. And there we have it. One with the border and one without the border. And as I said, since this is 100%, it's a little larger than this, which is perfectly fine. So, of course, you can change the width and the height to your content, and it'll, it'll move everything around. So, for example, if I were to take the second one and make the width... 100 pixels then it changes this to 100 percent and this to 100 pixels if I change both to 100 pixels then we have two pictures with 100 pixels so you can basically manipulate it any kind of way you want. I like to keep mine at a percentage. That way they fit perfectly. And of course, you can always center everything and make it really look nice with some simple HTML. But that was just how to get a table onto your, um, onto your blogger and get your pictures side by side. Very, very simple to do. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.